Hey there, Vital Community. My name's Tom. My channel's called High Rent District. Today I want to talk about uh, two record companies, I guess I guess we would say. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, brand new HBO series called Vinyl that uh, debuted last week. And uh, also I want to talk about the book uh, How to Ruin a Record Label, The Story of Lookout Records by Larry Livermore. Uh, both uh, the HBO series and this book are, you know, coming kind of coming across my consciousness at the same time. Uh, recently, uh, got back from a vacation in Detroit, and uh, even though I live in Oregon, I had to fly from uh, to come back, fly from Detroit to DC, and then all the way back across the country to Oregon because uh, frequent flyer miles, you know, get to be too cheesy with. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I read most of this book on the cross-country flight. Um, it was really hard to put down. And uh, it's about Lookout Records. Uh, they, I mean, I guess their most famous uh, clients were uh, Green Day. Yeah, Green Day would be the biggest. Uh, they also put out uh, Operation Ivy. Um, Isocracy, uh, Screeching Weasel, in uh, you know a whole lot of bands. Uh, the label I think folded around 2012. Larry Livermore is the author of this book. Uh, this book came out on Don Giovanni Records, and he left the record label I think around 1997. Uh, 1997. So uh, anyway, first thing I want to talk about is the HBO series Vinyl. Uh, it debuted on uh, February 14th. Which is a Sunday night. It's on every Sunday night. Uh, now, to be fair about this review, it's only there's only been one episode so far. Uh, I assume it's going to be an hour long show each week. Uh, the day, the pilot that I saw last week was, I think it was an hour and fifty two minutes long. It was, it was long and it, it felt long. Uh, it's about uh, it stars uh, Bobby Cannavale. He's an actor I like. Uh, Martin Scorsese is like a I don't know if he's the director or producer or what. You know, his fingerprints are kind of all over this. Set in the 1970s about a fictional record company called American Century Records. Uh, and it's they're going through a tough time, I think, as the, as the uh, show is beginning. It's kind of set in present time. The present time for the setting, I guess, is 1973, I think. Uh, looks like they're trying to sign in the opening... Uh, episode. They're trying to sign Led Zeppelin. They're trying uh, uh, Richie, the lead character played by Bobby Cannavale, is uh, who runs the record label. Uh, he's trying to. He's uh, just coming across the New York Dolls supposedly, as uh, New York Dolls are playing a club in uh, Manhattan. And uh, the episode kind of goes all over the place. You know, it's first episodes are tough. You know, you're trying to give a backstory so that the rest of the episodes kind of make sense. Uh, and it's showing, like, how the record label st started and uh, the difficulty that they're having. And in the opening episode, they're contemplating uh, selling the label to the Germans, to, I think, I think Polydor. Um, so there's a whole lot going on in that, in that uh, HBO episode one of Vinyl. It, uh, I was really looking forward to it, and, and again, it's only been one episode. I was really, really disappointed. Uh, it was kind of all over the place, uh, really haphazard. There were a lot of like nonsensical musical interludes, like a, you know, a lady will just be singing in an office, playing a tambourine on her hip, and just like, just kind of dropping out of nowhere. It's kind of like, you know, oh, I'm reading this book, this is a great book. And then, you know, you know, you're reading, you're reading, and somebody comes by and goes, bam, get that out of your hands and, uh, you know, put down the book for a while and send us some music for no apparent reason. And that's kind of where the HBO thing was going. So, uh, Andrew Dice Clay is in the opening episode. I don't know if he's in further episodes, but uh, Andrew Dice Clay was phenomenal in that opening, ep uh, opening episode. Uh, really the only saving grace of the whole thing. Um... You know, because of the people that are involved in it, Martin Scorsese, Bobby Cannavale, uh, and the other writers and whatnot, who my understanding is very have very good reputations, 
hope for better things out of it. But uh, you know, it's as for the fictional record label, American Century Records. Eh, so far, eh. You know, it talks about payola. Yeah, we knew, we know, you know, money was stuffed inside uh, records that uh, people wanted the DJs to play. Uh, you know, returned records that weren't selling, being dumped into the river. Did that happen? I don't know. Um, you know, you got the mafia involved in like some early shenanigans when the record label was starting. Uh, not that there's anything called the mafia. The mafia is actually organized crime. There's no such thing as the mafia. Uh, so anyway, uh, the opening episode of uh, the HBO series Vinyl, it's kind of a stinker. You know, I'm really hoping for better. Uh, flipping over to the actual real record label, Lookout Records. Uh, this was a phenomenal book, like I said. I couldn't put it down. You know, I finished most of it on the fly, and then when I got home, spent about another hour to finish it. Um, the publisher, oddly enough, is Don Giovanni Records, and I ordered it before the book even came out. And uh, Larry, the author, autographed it to me. Said, uh, thanks for reading my book, Tom. I hope you enjoy it. Signed, Larry Livermore. And I did. It was absolutely a fantastic book. Um, whether or not you're into, you know, it, it's about punk music for the most part. Um, and whether or not you're into punk or not, I think this is a really valuable book to read. You know, it's not an audio book, so it's not like you're listening to punk music. But the aesthetics of... Uh, running a record label and the things you run into uh, and, and the, the battles you have internally and externally um, it, it's real it's a really compelling story you know it's a uh, it's a story of uh, you know the East Bay uh, punk scene you know around Berkeley California uh, starting in the late 80s when it was uh, that one is kind of picking up and uh, Larry Livermore was uh, in the band called The Lookouts, and I think he na he named the uh, label after his band. So Larry Livermore, the author of this book, of this book is the co-founder of Lookout Records. And uh, for reasons, he was in a bad place in his life, and blah blah blah. He left the Lookout Records in 1990, uh, 1997, I think, and his co-founder, you know, kept the the, the label going. And uh, there's a lot of interesting things going on in this book. Um, again, you don't have to be in punk music into punk music to enjoy this book. I don't think. You know, it's talking about you know you're running a business with friends. You know, this record label was started by friends, and then uh, the the desire to do things the right way, to be good to musicians, to have a fair split of profits. Um, you know when a moral quandary comes up, you know, how do you handle it? Um, uh, like later in uh, the label's life, you know, when they're re-recording, when, they, when the queers are re-recording uh, an album and there's some like really kind of heinous lyrics that they're singing, when they're re-recording, you know, it's a question, it becomes a question of do you change the lyrics because it's, you know, 15 years, 10 years later. And uh, you don't think those lyrics are appropriate anymore, or do you stay true to the original song? Uh, you know, so there's questions like that. You know, when uh, you know you're a punk label, and you know you're just selling mail order, and you don't you need to have a distributor, and most distributors are not you know especially back in the day are not going to distribute punk records. You know, what do you do? And uh, I mean, I'm not going to be doing any spoilers here. I mean, they end up working with uh, Mordam. Uh, who I've always known from uh, the Dead Kennedys, but uh, Mortem is a distributor, and you know what's it like managing the business end of things? What's it like uh, really running a record label out of a one-room apartment um, and having your, and, you know, and doing it with your friends, and you know everything's everything, and then you know uh, I don't want to sound like a dick, so I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking, but. Uh, when other people become involved in the company and the company decides, gets a more corporate feel, if people are pushing that direction, how do you handle it? Um, do you stay true to the ideals of when you, you started out, even though they may 
those ideals may not be the best thing financially or can you be financially successful sticking to your ideals there's so much in this book it's such a good book I highly highly recommend it recommend it um, how to uh, how to run slash ruin a record label the story of lookout records by Larry Livermore it's on uh, Don Giovanni records I'm guessing you can get it at Amazon too by now that's what it looks like it's a uh, 280 ish pages 270 something but it's really a quick read it's a it's a really great book highly recommend it uh, the HBO series vinyl and eh, so far I'm gonna keep watching we'll see how it plays out um, oh and, and the, the name of the ooh, the name of that uh, series vi the name using the name vinyl to me seemed like so misleading because like at least in the opening episode you could have called it real to real or you could have called it uh, cassette um, there's so little like actual vinyl in there and I feel like they called the thing vinyl because vinyl is kind of a hip thing right now um, you know vinyl is popular right now so I would have called the thing you know like you know American Century Records or Century Records or whatever something else I, I would have you know because it's really about the label not you know the actuality of vinyl I feel like that was just a marketing way to title that uh, that series uh, anyway um hbo's vinyl it's probably you know a normal 13 episode series uh, i've only watched the first one tomorrow night which is uh february uh, 22nd would be the next uh 21st i don't even know what today is it's saturday right now sundays are when hbo's uh vinyl uh broadcast uh it's worth. I mean, I like the people in it. It's worth giving a giving a look to. Whether you stick with it, whether I stick with it, I don't know. Uh, How to ruin a record label by Larry Livermore. Read it. Great book. Thanks for watching. See you next time.